In this video, I want to show you the stats report feature in Scryde. For this, let me go ahead and open a screenplay from Scriptali. And uh, as soon as the screenplay loads, I'm simply going to click on this button here to generate the stats report. Let's just simply generate it and take a look at what Scryde shows for us. This is the stats report. Now I can go here, click on this button and uh, save the statistics report to my uh, computer and then share this PDF to somebody else if I want to, right? But let's just take a look at the statistics report right here within the app. Along the top here, it gives you some quick statistics. It says that the estimated runtime of this film is one hour, 19 minutes considering that each page of the screenplay is going to roughly translate to one minute of screen time. And we have 188 scenes, 14 characters, 80 pages. There are a total of 278 dialogues in this entire screenplay. There are 67 locations and the average scene time is 25 seconds. Directly below this, we have a bunch of graphs. Now the first graph, you know, it's, it's a pie chart. It tells me the ratio between action and dialogue in my screenplay. As you can see here, this particular screenplay is low on dialogues and heavy on action. Now, there are writers who believe that, you know, films are visual medium and therefore there should be fewer dialogues than there is action. Um, and there are some other writers who believe that we shouldn't really shy away from having a dialogue if it's required for the, for the film. Uh, it doesn't matter which camp you belong to. This simple pie chart is actually going to tell you whether your screenplay is dialogue heavy or action heavy. Next, we have another pie chart which tells how much of your scene is happening within, uh, you know, closed spaces, you know, in interiors and how much of your screenplay is happening exteriors. In this particular film, a lot of uh, moments are happening interior. So we know that this film is interiors heavy. The next uh, chart that we see here is a stacked bar graph. This one says uh, across day and night, how many scenes are happening inside and how many are happening outside, you know, interior to exterior ratio across day and night. This is also nice to have. And then after that, uh, we have this bar graph here, which tells the top five locations in our screenplay. Uh, this one just says L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, uh, but the actual meanings of these uh, locations are given out here. So these are the top five locations. Coming down, you can see that there is this timeline here, you know, from zero minutes to one hour, 19 minutes. Now this is giving us uh, a sense of how scenes in the screenplay are spread across the entire length of the film. You know, quickly it also points out that scene number eight is both the longest scene and is also the most crowded scene in the film. Uh, somewhere here is uh, the shortest scene. It's scene number 72. And this one is the least crowded scene. Scene number 103 is the least crowded scene. There's only one character and it spans 0.8 pages. Now this gives a bird's eye view of how the scenes in your film are paced uh, across the entire timeline of your film. When you come down below here, the, you'd see a bunch of graphs and uh, these are called presence graphs. So this one is character presence graphs and these are uh, location presence graphs. By default, Scryte picks up the top six characters and the top six locations and it renders the graphs for them. But you can pick and choose the characters and locations that you want to include in the statistics report. Now let's take a look at the character presence graphs first. What these presence graphs reveal is how your character's presence uh, is spread across the entire timeline of your screenplay, right? So let me pull this down a bit. So this is my timeline. I can see that Kaveri character is kind of present here, but then here she's a lot more active. And here she is even more active. And this is how her presence is spread across the entire timeline of the film. If a character is even present in a scene, uh, there's gonna be a slight bump. But if the character is speaking, then it goes higher and higher like this. The more the character speaks in the scene, the higher is the peak in this character presence graph. This is a very simple way of finding out how your character's presence varies across the entire length of your film. Now, for example, here we know that Mohan, Vimla, Satish, and the psychiatrist, these guys, they're hatching something. 
in the screenplay at this point, you know, somewhere in the beginning. Now, as we move along, somewhere here, these four characters come together again. Now, if you were the writer of the screenplay and you took a look at all of these character presence graphs, by simply noticing these bumps, you will be able to understand if, you know, the story is being presented right. Let's come down to the location presence graph. The location presence graphs are shown for the top six locations in your screenplay. Now, what these location graphs reveal is what part of your screenplay is happening in which location. For example, we know that somewhere around 12 to 16 minutes is going on in Kaveri's room. And we know that uh, somewhere around the 35th minute is going on in Mohan's house. So by just looking at this graph, you'll come to know where your story is happening in terms of location at different points of time in your entire screenplay. So this is your statistics report. It presents some very quick insights about your entire screenplay. Now, uh, let's say you have a screenplay in which you've inserted act breaks in the timeline. For instance, I have inserted the act breaks for Act 1, 2A, 2B and 3 in this screenplay and I've also marked the structure beats onto each of my scenes. So I know that these four scenes comprise the opening image and then I have the setup and catalyst and so on. I've marked all of my structure beats. Let me go ahead and pull out the statistics report for this screenplay. Notice that the timeline is now containing a lot more information. It shows how long my acts are. Typically, acts 1, 2A, 2B, and 3 should all be of equal size. And as you can see here, act 2B is really small. And because I've also tagged the structured beats, I can also see that bad guys closing in is not strong enough in this screenplay. That's a place where I have to work on if I need to get this to the second draft. Now you can also notice that the color coding of scenes is preserved. I can visually see how different shades of my scenes are spread across the entire timeline of my film. So this was a statistics report for a screenplay with acts and uh, structured beats. Uh, but what if your screenplay has episodes? Here I have a screenplay with five episodes and um, each of these five episodes have act breaks within them. And I've also used custom structured beats to tag the scenes in various episodes of my screenplay. Let me go ahead and pull the statistics report for this screenplay. Now, in addition to showing me how my structured beats are paced and how my acts are paced in my entire screenplay, I also get to see the length of each of my five episodes. Now, it's a good thing that my episodes are kind of equal sized, although there is some work to be done in episode three and maybe in episode one. I need to add a little more uh, material into these episodes. Now, in this particular screenplay, I have used non-linear narration. In every episode, I shuttle back and forth between various times. Uh, you know, it goes all the way from 2004 to 2009, 10. But in every episode, I focus on one single time in the entire story and I can clearly see how each episode is focusing on a single time. While every episode is internally non-linear, overall the episodes are moving forward in time and I can clearly see that happening. Now having written the screenplay and seeing that come out alive in this statistics report, it's a reassurance for me that I've kind of kept the overall design of my story intact. So that's statistics report for you. I hope that you find these reports useful for your own screenplays and you're able to find insights that you would have probably not found otherwise. Let us know what you think about the statistics report on the forum, join us on Discord and post a message there. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this video.